you don't have to worry and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles they don't last always for there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away and if your heart is broken just lift your hands and say I know that I can make it I know that I can stand no matter what may come my way my life is in your hands for your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I am CJ. For your quick news and notes, heavyweight Roy Wilson previously scheduled opponent Gabriel Gonzaga for his May 26th bout at UFC 146 will be replaced with Dave Herman. UFC announced Tuesday night since Gonzaga withdrew due to an undisclosed injury. Floyd Money Mayweather answered a question on why he and Manny Pacquiao won't fight and Mayweather responded by saying it was basic common sense that Pacquiao has used performance enhancing drugs and getting into the ring with him would be a risk to his future health. Golden Boy Promotions won a purse bid on Monday to gain promotional rights to the mandatory rematch between junior middleweight titleist Cornelius K-9 Bunraj and former title holder Corey Spinks. Dimitri Pirog has extended his unbeaten record to 20-0 by defeating Nobuhiro Ishida by unanimous decision to defend his WBO middleweight title. Galaxy goalkeeper Josh Saunders, who won the starting job last year with a series of sensational performances as LA Street to the MLS Cup Championship, has enrolled in Major League Soccer's Substance Abuse Treatment Program and will be out for an indefinite time, the Los Angeles Times reported on Tuesday. Seattle Sounders FC forward Eddie Johnson has been fined by Major League Soccer for making an inappropriate gesture at the end of the Saunders match Saturday against the Chicago Fire. The USGA has awarded the 2017 U.S. Women's Open to a Donald Trump-owned course in New Jersey, a person with knowledge of the deal tells the Associated Press. Texas State is going to the Sun Belt Conference after only one season in the WAC. Former Miami football coach Randy Shannon is suing his alma mater, saying the university decided not to pay him all that he was guaranteed in his final contract. Chicago Blackhawks assistant general manager Mark Bergevin has been named general manager of the Montreal Canadiens. With two short answers, Andy Pettit called into question the validity of his testimony against Roger Clemens, part of a discouraging day for prosecutors in the retrial of the seven-time Cy Young Award winner. The Philadelphia Phillies have placed first baseman Jim Tomey on the 15-day disabled list. Buffalo Bills receiver David Nelson describes free agent quarterback Vince Young as looking in great shape during his workout for the team. Former Dallas Cowboys offensive lineman Torin Tucker was arrested Tuesday night and charged with felony counts of cocaine possession with intent to sell, marijuana possession with intent to sell, deliver of marijuana and possession of a firearm during commission of a felony. He was released from jail on a $19,500 bail. The Atlanta Hawks learned Wednesday that forward Josh Smith has a strained tendon in his left knee, perhaps costing the Hawks another key player for their playoff series against the Boston Celtics. And finally, speaking for the first time since he injured his hand after hitting the glass case of a fire extinguisher after Game 2 of the New York Knicks Miami Heat series, Amari Stoudemire called the incident unfortunate and stated, quote, It wasn't like I had a closed fist and just punched through the glass. It was nothing like that. I just walked by, wanted to make some noise, swung my arm, hit the fire extinguisher door and didn't even realize I was cut at all until Josh Harrison told me I was cut. Close quote. What a costly arm swing. This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For rates and more information, please email naturallyrelax at gmail.com. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cjsports, that's C-E-E-J-A-Y, sports at gmail.com for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my brand new blog site, cjsports.com, and make sure you follow me on Twitter, at cjsports. And tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment, where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed, and have a positive, productive, blessed day, and I leave you with namaste. As the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you, and in closing, as justice is beginning to take shape, I am still Trayvon Martin. <laughs>